What's up to my St. Philomena fam? Uh, I'm really excited to be doing this for you. Quick video from our New York City office here in the Financial District of Manhattan. So um, just a couple of questions that I wanted to answer for you. And here we go. So where am I now? What am I doing right now? I currently live in New York City and I run a social media marketing and communications company where we work with brands of all different sizes to help them tell stories that sell, help them figure out what is their mission, what is their value, what is the thing that they bring into the world, and then how do they communicate that properly to the audience that they want using social and modern day marketing. Um, so we're here in New York City, but I travel internationally constantly to meet with clients, and I'm also an international keynote speaker where I talk about storytelling and modern day marketing and building businesses around things that you love. And so that is a little bit about what we're doing here. I also freelance write for Entrepreneur Magazine. I've written for Forbes, I've written for the Huffington Post, and I have also been recently awarded a fellow uh, fellowship by Fulbright, so I'm now a Fulbright specialist. Uh, which means I get to go around the world teaching entrepreneurship over the next three years. Um, so that is a supplement to the business that I've built here over the last five and a half years in New York and San Francisco. So when I think about why Catholic education was important in my development as an adult, as a professional, and what St. Philomena's did for that development, I really think about a couple different things. Number one, I think that faith is just super important for any aspect of life. And I think that St. Phil's really drilled that home in me. You know, having a faith in what you're doing, in a higher being, in God, and whatever it is that you call it, I think is important. And I think that St. Philomena really instilled that faith in me. Listen, when you're running your own business, or when you're trying to be an athlete, or when you're trying to be the best mom you can be, or the best dad you can be, or you're trying to raise money for that fundraiser, or for that nonprofit you wanna build, Faith is everything. You're gonna have that faith tested so many times. And I think that the thing that St. Phil's instilled in me was that faith to believe that if you serve and if you do good and if your intentions and your heart are genuine and pure, things find a way of working themselves out for you. And uh, that was a real big lesson that I learned. Second thing I would learn, second thing I would say that I learned from St. Philomena community is the power of community. Right, I said it twice in that sentence because it's so important. Community is everything. And St. Phil's was a very tight-knit community um, that really fostered a lot of mutual, bene mutually beneficial relationships and growth and encouragement and support. I think that no matter where you go, if it's Peoria, if it's New York City, if it's Europe, if it's South America, that level of community that you learn from a very young age from a place like St. Philomena carries with you and it unites you and becomes the glue for all of your experiences no matter where you find yourself in this glorious globe. I think when I think about the skills that St. Philomena offered me that have been instrumental in my success in life, it, it really comes down to a few different things. Number one, as I mentioned in the last answer, community. Community is everything. Community is the thing that binds us, is the thing that unites us, is the thing that no matter where we live in the world is a common place that we all want. I think number two, St. Phil's really taught me about hard work. You know, the people of Peoria, Illinois, where I'm proud to be from, are no stranger to hard work. Hard work is core to our DNA. It's a very um, hustle, it's a very grinding kind of place. It's a very gritty place, and I think that that hard work has been an absolute advantage in what I've been able to build professionally. I think kindness. I think kindness, especially when you're thinking about dealing with a lot of different people in a lot of different parts of the world or a lot of different people with a lot of different backgrounds, I think that when you approach them with kindness and when your heart is open and genuine and pure to serve in a way that is genuine, then you will, you will always find your place and you will always be on the right side of history. And I think that Peoria and St. Phyllis has really taught me that. Um, so that's what I would say. Favorite memory about St. Phil's was easily, um, I mean, there's so many, right? But I really, really always look forward to Mrs. Dippold giving me extra goldfish crackers. I would sneak out of class and I'd go down there and I would, uh, she would always give me extra goldfish crackers and a couple of little chicken nuggets here and there. It was always a couple hours before lunch and I was hungry and I remember that very vividly. Uh, Mrs. Dippold who, who ran the cafeteria, she was so nice to us. She was so generous and so giving and I, I looked forward to that every single day. The other thing I would say is 
um, sports. You know, sports were such an integral part of my upbringing, such an integral part of my being, such an important instrument in how I led and made friends and, and identified with myself as a young man. And I think that sports, you know, provided that camaraderie, that friendship, that unity, that leadership. Um, and I remember all of my basketball coaches at St. Phil's being amazing, including my, my own dad. Um, and just really, from a very early age, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, remembering what it was like and what it took to actually build uh, leadership and skills and the ability to stay cool under pressure and the ability to unite people and the ability to pick people up and find strengths. You know, when you're working in a team, the way that a team becomes the best is you look for all of the different things in the teammates that are their strong suits and you figure out how to amplify all of those. And that's something that I've definitely carried with me. Um, and then the third thing I would say about St. Phil's is, you know, I think just the friendship. You know, I, there was a lot of characters um, from all different ages, right? And there was a lot, there's a lot of friendship that was developed both on the, you know, in the, in the, during the recess and in the, um, in the school itself, but then also what happened outside of school. You know, there's a lot of basketball games at different, you know, Ryan Flynn, I remember playing at his basketball game all the time. I remember, you know, going riding bikes with friends. I remember meeting up and playing spin the bottle and all these like fun little things, you know, um, but I think that that community and friendship was so important and, and at the end of the day, it's really all we have. I mean, every single professional success that I've ever been able to achieve has been on the back of friendship and on the back of community, on the back of networking. And I think that coming from a place like Peoria and attending a school like St. Phil's really taught me that friendship for friendship's sake is the name of the game. You know, when you get into bigger cities, um, li having lived in San Francisco and now living in New York, very fast, uh, professionally driven cities, which I, which I love and thrive on, it's a little bit more difficult to figure out who is doing what for what reason. And in Peoria, the intentions always seem so good and the friendship's so genuine. And I think that that carries through and people can kind of sen sense that and smell that. And um, the more genuine you can be, the better in all areas of life, including friendship. So that was St. Phil's for me. Anything else that I'd like to add? I think, you know, I think the beauty of St. Phil's and the beauty of, of Peoria in general is the level of, of kindness. And, you know, I did a video down here in the lower Manhattan that went viral in Peoria. Um, and, I, and I just identified hard work, kindness, and community. And I think that that's, you know, you think about when things start for you, right? And St. Phil's, you're so formative and you're so um, impressionable. And from the teachers to the coaches, to the teammates, to the friends, to the staff, to the janitors, to the parents, to the PTA board, to all of it, I think that as I look back and think, and the older I get, the more I reflect on the past to figure out where I'm going in the future, the more I think about where we've come from, the more proud I am and the more grateful I am for all those people that use their power for good. And um, I think back on the St. Phil's days, and I think that everyone was doing the best that they could. And I think that that matters a lot. So proud to be a Tiger, proud to be making this video for you. For uh, anyone that's watching, thanks for everything that you do for our community.